Hey guys, so we recently did a video on work from home jobs making £100 a day and in that video we talked about different jobs that you could do from home but some of them required some technical skills and so what we thought we'd do another video where we will be talking about easy jobs that yep. anyone can do without any prior knowledge or technical skills. So very easy jobs that you can do from the comfort of your own home and make some extra money. My name is Ken and I'm Mary of the Humble Penny and Finance Joy Academy. What we do on this channel is give you the tips, the insights and practical hacks to help you work towards a dream life of financial independence and money joy. Okay, so we're gonna dive straight in and start to talk about the seven easy work from home ideas for making some money, okay? Do you want to uh, kick us off on what the first idea is? Cool. So the first one is an ESL teacher. Essentially, this is where you help to teach people who are trying to improve their English, yeah and their conversational skills. You will be supporting both adults and children from all over the world to help improve their conversational skills. So you need to be fluent in English. Um, some people would require that you have an English degree, but that's not necessary for mm -hmm. all of the jobs. You'll probably be doing Skype calls. Yes. So you need good internet speed for that mm -hmm. and a way of recording the conversation so that you can go over it and offer feedback. Mm -hmm. So this will be good for people who have buckets of patience and who have good communication skills. Yep. And a pro tip for this, if you want to take this to a whole different level, is that you should look into training courses such as the TEFL or the CELTA training courses, which I'll put a link to below for you to check out, okay? Okay, so the second idea is to become a community manager or a social media manager for people who work online, okay? This is a really simple idea. So we've got one ourselves. We've got somebody who helps us out as a community manager to manage our Facebook groups, for example. And what they're doing with this task is essentially helping us to look at people's comments, summarizing them in maybe a Google Doc, and pointing us to the key things that people are talking about, the key topics, so that we can attend to them and make sure nothing's missed. To do this particular job, you have to have good organizational skills. So somebody who can use simple Google Docs or a Word document and you have to be happy to be able to use social media, your everyday skills that you use to look at Facebook or Instagram, but you're using it in a way that's helping people solve a problem, okay? In terms of what you can look to make from this, uh, you can make up to 300 pounds per month, all depends on what your hourly rate is that you've agreed with somebody for doing this job for them, okay? Another way you can make an income with this is to ask for a fixed, rate per month so you know that you are absolutely earning say 250 pounds for the month for dealing with the social media aspects for a particular you know blogger or youtuber okay now in terms of where you find these type of jobs i would say that you should go out there and look for people who run uh, blogs or youtube channels you can even look for them on websites such as upwork where lots of freelance work is uh, available for you to look at. So you look for the type of job descriptions that are for social media managers or for community managers, and they are absolutely great for making extra money because you are simply doing this work from home and getting paid for doing what you would ordinarily do uh, in your spare time. Okay, so next is that you can become a website tester. Mm -hmm. So. There are many websites that are being created and companies just do not have the time to test the websites or they just do not have the resource for it. You can find these jobs online and where for 15 minutes you can get paid about five pounds easily mm -hmm. and you can easily make around 45 pounds or more a month by just spending a little amount of time testing these websites. So essentially what you'll be doing is checking through all the pages, making sure there aren't any broken links, making sure nothing's broken on a site, and if anything is, you just report it. Okay, so platforms such as what users do and user testing are places that you can go and register for free and get these jobs for testing websites, okay? We'll put a link to them below uh, for you to check out. Check them out, get started, register and start making some money from testing websites. Next is that you can get yourself a remote working job. Okay, this is a job you can do from home. Uh, companies such as Lionbridge, which we came about recently, essentially help you give you various tasks that help companies improve their search engine results, okay? So what you're doing is doing little tasks and getting paid for helping companies improve their search results. And for this, 
you can look to earn up to £250 per month by committing your time for a remote working job like this. This is particularly good if you're somebody who's at home and looking after kids but also want to make some extra money at the same time. So the next one is selling your everyday videos. Most of us watching this video probably have a smartphone and you probably like us film a lot of things, film my children playing, just film things when we're out and about, we see something interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, did you know that you can actually make money from selling those videos online? So you... companies such as Newsflare Online essentially mm -hmm. created a platform for user generated content. You can upload them to their website and what they then do is sell those bits of content onto media outlets that then use them for various media reporting bits, okay? And for uploading those videos, whenever your video is purchased by a company, you have a revenue share. You get 50% of the revenue and the company gets 50% uh, as well. I actually got an email the other day telling me that I'd made, I think, £13.50 from a random video that I recorded when it, it had snowed last year, like really heavily, and the trains had basically stopped and people were stuck in the train for about an hour or two hours. And I just filmed a couple of things just to kind of share what was going on. And I posted it on the website and somebody randomly bought it. And somebody will as time passes. So the chances are you probably have videos on your phone that are interesting, that are fun, especially ones that have animals in them. It tends to do quite well, cats and dogs. If you've got those, those videos, check out websites such as Newsflare, for example, where you can upload those videos and make some money. We'll put links to these uh, below for you to check out and get started. Okay, so the next one is to be an audio transcriber. Mm -hmm. So what you do here is essentially you'll listen to audio or you watch watch some videos and you will literally just type up what's being said. Mm -hmm. You can do um, captions, you can explain sound effects or do subtitles for videos. Right, in terms of what you need for this, you simply need a laptop and or a computer as uh, good internet connection and just decent communication skills in order for you to be able to explain what you are transcribing. If you're quite fast at typing and you're quite accurate whilst doing so, this job is great for you. Yeah. In terms of earning potential, you get paid really depending on what you're transcribing. So if you're transcribing audio, you can look to make anything between 200 and 300 pounds per month from doing that. And if you're transcribing bits of video content, then you can earn a bit more, anything between 500 and 1,000 pounds. But again, that depends on how much content you're transcribing mm -hmm. and how many hours you're putting into doing that. A top tip will be to set up a PayPal account because this yep. is probably where you will get paid. Yep, look in the links below where we'll share some resources to help you start it with audio transcriptions. Okay, so this final one is to become a freelance writer. As somebody who actually writes blogs, I know for certain what good content looks like and often I'm looking for people who can write from a different voice, who can kind of bring a different perspective to writing. And what you find is that a lot of content creators, lots of big websites or even smaller ones are always looking for people who can bring a different perspective to writing. So you can absolutely look into becoming a freelance writer and get paid fairly well for doing it as well because so lots of people are looking for those that can come in, write bits of content using their own style, their own voice, yeah. and deliver that content at a set time. So if you're really good at meeting deadlines now and again, and if you're decent at writing, I'd highly recommend looking into becoming a freelance writer because you don't need a degree to do it. You just need to be good at writing and possibly even good at storytelling. And those together will help you create amazing content. And once you do it and you prove to somebody that you're good at doing it, they will call on you time and time again to create content for them going forward. I'll put a link below to a website we've come across where you can look up freelance type jobs uh, such as freelance writing. Again, that website's called Upwork, which I believe we mentioned earlier, but I'll put a link to it below so you can check it out and get started today as a freelance writer. You can look to make anything between 20 pounds per hour and possibly 30 pounds per hour from doing freelance writing. Some people also charge you on a per article basis. So you might say, I'm gonna write one piece and each piece I write is gonna cost 100 pounds or 50 pounds, for example. And you can agree a deal like that, depending on what suits you the best. But you can look to make a really decent amount, anything between 200 pounds per month and even up to 700 pounds per month from delivering freelance articles 
uh, to content creators. So guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video mm -hmm. and found it useful. Let us know well, what work from home jobs have you done, if yeah. you have, and how are you finding it? Yeah, also look in the link below and above to that video we made before on a hundred pounds per day work from home jobs. You should check that out because we shared some really interesting ideas that you can take on board in addition to what we've shared today. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please hit that like button. Yep, also make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell because it helps to notify you when we publish content on a Tuesday as well as a Thursday. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you comment below. Let's get chatting and talking about these ideas for making money. And we look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, Take care. and bye for now. Bye. Use that can come in, you know, use that. <laughs> that your tummy, they just made that noise. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Right. All right.